Hi guys, I'm Fiogoni and this is my Hitman Codename 47 Cheats. First off, I'm going to show you how to input a cheat. Now there's two ways. Number one is you can go into the Hitman files, the game files, open up the file called Hitman INI, go into there, open it with a notepad, and you can edit the files, put the codes in, and then in-game just press one key to open it. Or, press the button below the escape to bring down that uh, little grey panel there as you can see then what you're going to do is you're going to type in your code and then press enter and then you can press the same button below the escape button to remove it and the, key, and the cheat has been activated standalone cheats our first cheat is the all weapons cheat simply type give all into the panel and click enter and then as you can see you have all the weapons all the items that's bombs, keys, everything you want and uh, this comes in very handy in the missions you get out any one of them. Unlimited ammo. You've got a gun with no bullets in it. Pull down your grey screen. Type in in for ammo. Hit enter. Hit the reload button on that gun. You'll reload it and now you have the max amount of bullets you can for that gun. So, 9999. God mode. Pull down your grey screen. Type in God with a space 1. Hit enter and now you cannot take any damage so let's try this out, we're going to pull out a gun and we're going to cause some mischief shoot that guy and we're going to run inside here and then we're just going to let ourselves be shot and as you can see our armour does go down but our health is unaffected we can be shot as many times as we want the same you can turn it off by typing in God Zero and as you can see when I hit enter my health quickly goes down The Invisible Man type in Invisible One into your grey screen, hit enter, and now you'll be completely invisible to enemies, whatever you do, though they can interact with you with some cutscenes. So I can shoot this guy, he doesn't know what's happening, shoot him in the head. I can uh, shoot near these guys' feet, they have, they have no idea, they're just going to turn around, they have no idea, the AI gets completely messed up. Time manipulation. Pull down your grey screen and type in IP underscore time multiplier. Then once you type in that, type in either from 0 0.01 to 5, and that will uh, change the speed of the game. Now I'm going to start off with a uh, fairly average 0 0.01, and what this is going to do is this is going to slow the game down to a tenth of its normal speed. And what's great about this is you can uh, get a fairly slow motion effect. As you can see, I'm shooting my gun, the guys are shooting back, you can see the bullets flying past you. It's really cool, you can see the shell casings, it's all in slow motion. And uh, this is a really fun one to mess about with. And uh, another great one, the shotguns, you actually see the little balls firing. It's not just, uh, they didn't just scam out and do like a bullet, but it's a genuine like spray of little balls. And you can also see the shells flying out, which is pretty cool. It's another great one, uh, using the AK. You can see the proper big shells flying out. You can see the bullets hitting them. And then you can see them flying off. Some great ragdoll effects here. You can see their bodies slowly flying off into the distance. All the way over the balcony. And this is where the speed's turned, being turned right up. I turned up to 5 on this. And as you can see, the game's 5 times faster. You run really fast. Everything fires really fast. Um, like some crazy stuff. It's really hard to control your movements as well. Oh God, I think I'm get trapped in the door here for a little bit, that closed door. You can just shoot the guys, you can see the water fly out really quick. All cool stuff. Debug mode. Bring down your grey screen, type in IP underscore debug 1, and then you'll unlock a lot of features. And the first one I'm going to show you is jumping. Press the J key, and uh, 47 will jump. He'll be able to jump over some obstacles, and it's really helpful for maneuvering around the map. And jump down again. Free cam mode. Press K and you have uh, freedom over the camera. You can look around in all directions. You can move using the mouse keys and uh, zoom around the whole map, which is really cool. Really cool for um, you know looking around, seeing how it works. And there's 47 just below us. Overhead view. Press O and you'll look down on 47 and you'll see him running around. You can still control him, of course. Still do all the actions you normally would, like shoot. You just have this fixed camera angle. Now this is really cool when you use this in missions like uh, where they don't have roofs, 
like in the first mission. As you can see, we got the overview and we're looking down. Level cutscene. Press I and you will play the cutscene for the level. It will work if there's two cutscenes or many cutscenes, it will only play one. Some missions don't even uh, have any cutscenes that you can play, but uh, many of them do. And the great thing is, once you've done it, you actually uh, don't end the game, you just appear back where you were. In some missions, like the second missions, you get this almost glitch mode when you press it, where you go into the dying cutscene, but uh, no one's there, it's just a pool of blood and 47's not there. And once it's over, you just appear back normal. The Force. Basically, go up to uh, anybody, hold down shift and press F11, and they'll just die. There's also an alternative, if you press um, shift again and then press F11, you force push them, force push them away and they'll go flying off. Debug graphic cheats. Our first graphic cheat is wireframe mode. Press T and the whole game will turn into a, almost a developer's view wireframe mode. You will as 47 in some real detail, all the guns, all the people, everyone in the area and all of the scenery. Visual changes. Press zero and you will change the lighting of the game and it will go into this uh, light mode where there's no shadow and everything's very bright. Press it again and you go into a block mode where everything appears in a kind of a blocky texture and uh, all the people and objects. Now you can do this in some missions and you get a better effect like in say hello to my little friend as you can see normally this is a very dark mission when you're in the uh, forest at least and uh, as you can see all the cliffs are very visible. Now, pressing it again takes you into the block mode, and this is really interesting for this uh, level, as you can see it's almost a desert, all the shrubs send these spikes, and uh, press it one more time and you go to normal. Ballistic Geometry. Press Shift, F3, and you see this kind of ballistics of where people are walking, you see around them, all great. Now, it goes even further than this. If you pull out a gun, just to get everyone's attention, you'll see the ballistics of each of those bullets flying out, you also see it around the trees, as you can see, if I shoot, you can see where the bullets are fired. And if I look around, you can see where all the shooting are, the, the flash of the motor. Green wall. Press Shift F5, and you'll see all these kind of green shapes. They're all in the doors, and they show the shape of the room. As you can see, they shape of these buildings. You can walk through them, and they do the shapes of the general structures. Lighting. Press Shift F6, and you'll see all the lighting of the area. You'll see uh, where the light falls, the shape, how much of it is and it's all shown, especially in these rooms with lots of light, where it is. Cameras. Press Shift F7 and then, just to show you this, I'm going to go into free mode. Look back and you can see all the cameras for uh, different views. Like you can see there's one of our 47, where his view is, and um, where the views of the door. And it shows uh, where the different cutscenes are for the area, which is pretty cool. If I go inside you can see them. And it just shows where um, the cutscenes are going to be. Grid. Press Shift F8 and uh, the floor area will turn into a grid. Something quite small, but you can just see how the developers uh, cut the area up into grid. Wireframe 47. Press Shift F9 and 47 will go into wireframe mode. You can still walk around as him. Uh, your whole body will be in wireframe mode. If you press Shift F9 again, you'll turn into 47 with a wireframe around him. And you press it one more time, you'd go back to normal. Floor colour. Press just F11 and the floor will be divided up into this kind of multicoloured uh, kind of I don't know, pattern I guess on the floor. Bit of a strange one but there you are. Teleport cheats. Press tab and you will go into this kind of out of body experience where you'll see through the eyes of every AI and it will be every AI for the map, all civilians, all guards, all targets. And you see what they see as they turn their head, you'll follow them as they walk. And you can skip through them. And it's uh, really fun to see all the different people. Like we've got Zun here in the main mansion. And just how he's looking around. And you can just see from his view. You can just walk through them. If you press shift and uh, tab again, you go back through them as you can see. I can cycle back through them and then go back through them again by just playing tab. Press H and you turn to Hitman and then you can just look around as usual. Key teleport. It varies from uh, mission to mission which you can use them in. But there are three standard keys, F, G and H, F being the most common. And if you press them, you will teleport to different set locations in the map. So pressing F at the moment, I'm teleporting to different areas and that will take me around like that. I can also press G 
and these will take me to the different areas and then I can press H finally and uh, no, this will take me to this one area here. I'm just going to go through which missions you can teleport and which keys you can use. So, first up, training. Yes, you can use F to teleport. The next mission. Yes, you can use teleports. F again. The third one. No, no teleports in this. The next one. No teleports again. The Lee Hong assassination. You can use all three F, G and H teleports. The next one. Yes, you can use teleports, just F. No, you can't use it in the next one. Uh, no, you can't use them in that one there. No, you can't use it in that one there. No, not in that one. And no, not in that one. This one, you can use one teleport. And then the final one, yes, you can use F as a teleport. Cursor teleports. You can use this by aiming your center cursor at any area and then press control and F9. You've got to make sure it's a flat surface, you've got to aim it upright, press Control, F9, and when you press the F9, um, then you'll teleport there, as you can see. The surface does have to be flat, so uh, you can teleport to it, and uh, anywhere you can aim your mouse, pretty much. Level skip. Simply press Control and then the S key, and you will skip that mission. You can do this by working your way through the entire game, skipping all the way through. As I'll show you, you can load up the next mission, just skip it, skip through this, and start the mission again. And you can just do it again, press Ctrl and S, and you skip the mission again. All levels unlocked. Start a new profile and type in Kimbo Caster Knive, how it's spelled on the screen, and you will unlock all the missions instantly and all the weapons inside uh, the mission shop at the beginning. So basically everything's unlocked. Combination cheats. This is a mixture of different cheats. So first up, hit overhead, then hit free cam and hit Y which will load the whole map. Then using the free cam we can move over to wherever we want. And then aim where we want and then using control F9 we can teleport where we want. Go out of the modes and we're pretty much at the end of the map and you can see all the different parts, it's pretty crazy. And it's run over and end it. Now we can mess up with this cutscene, we're going to go in free cam, turn the brightness, and then we can have a look around the rest of the map. As you can see, it was this little green thing showing us the camera, 47 falls down there. Now this is a bit where you're normally like, oh, who's this guy who's watching us? But we can just use the free cam mode, and look, oh, look, it's this old guy, Dr. Omar. This is also a cutscene that we can look at in different uh, views, we can change so the brightness. And this is a starting cutscene in Hong Kong, we can see 47 looking around and see his room, all in a, a lighter colour. We can use free cam mode here and do some teleporting, this is always fun, you can do this in uh, the end of the missions. Just use uh, the free cam, look around, then just go out of it and using the teleport we can just aim at any part of uh, the map we want. As long as it's flat and teleport 47 there. Now go back into normal view and look, one top of a building. It's really cool. So we can say, oh, we want to go down here. We want to have a look around. And we can just hit in uh, God 1 just in case I die. Look a bit of jumping there. Pretty fun. And I can just go and teleport to wherever I want down here. And this is always really fun because you can, uh, in this mission, I think this is uh, Li Hong assassination. If you're on the you can actually see the whole map broken up. Remembering to press Y, of course, which loads the whole map. And then at any point, you can simply just go into free cam mode again and look wherever you want over the map, which is always really fun. This is some fun stuff you can get anywhere using teleports and then get some pretty cool screenshots like this. Like I'm on top of Lee Hong's mansion right now. On this one, I'm on top of the crane in, uh, I don't know, Phantom Run Loose, whichever one it is. That's always fun, you can get to all kinds of crazy places by just uh, teleporting and running a little bit. I'm on top of the ship in uh, the one where it forest where you detonate the bomb. And I'm standing on the very top of the boat there. This is of course the final mission, the setup, or second to last, penultimate. And I'm on top of the mansion right here and I'm changing the brightness and you can just get to all kinds of crazy places and get some good screenshots. This is pretty difficult, but you can teleport on top of the train while it's moving and then uh, just stand on top of it, which is pretty fun. And uh, just go along, go throughout the map. And going really fast, of course. And here I am on top. 
cutscene cheats. You can mess about with the cutscenes a bit, like uh, here, where 47 is helping out Ni Ling. You can just hit the free cam mode, and normally it looks so smooth when you're watching it, but as you see, it's jumping. The kind of uh, way they shoot it, suddenly that guard appears that you wouldn't normally notice, and just goes to show how the cinematography works. This is quite. Just the man if you were uh, to do the cutscene with this guy here, skip it, and then teleport away, then 47 uh, will keep on moving, like the. the Thing will keep on hitting it, it'll be as though 47 is there, but he's vanished. And then if I teleport him back in, there he is, he still acts as though he was helping Agent Smith, helping him up. The cutscene at the end of uh, the mission, uh, Lee Hong assassination, normally it's in complete secrecy, but changing the light on it, you can see all five of your fathers just having the conversation. It's not in darkness like the cutscene normally is, you can just hit the brightness and see everyone who's there. Cutscene when you're in the jungle, you can just zoom out using the free count mode. And guess what? It's not actually 47 going down a line, it's just 47 in the air a little bit and he slides down. And that so called rope, which is not attached to anything, just flies up into the sky. At the beginning of Say Hello to My Little Friend, you can see 47 crawling through this tunnel. If you go out into free count mode and hit the light, you can just see it's just floating in mid air. And there he is, and it vanishes. This is a great one, interesting to the trade, zoom out in it and you'll see the voices just sitting there and they're just sliding a picture in front, you can get the brightness, and then you can see the teleports over there and there's no wheels in that car, and then it just vanishes. This is a great one, during a cutscene just hit the free cam mode, and uh, you'll be in that room of course, zoom forwards, you can just aim at the person and force kill them. Hitting I and being in the right area for the cutscene, using uh, the free cam to stay where you are, you can see uh, the cutscene for that level. In this case, it's the guys, and you can see how they do it, how they're vanishing, just zooming around with the free cam. An even better place of doing this is in the Phantom Runs Loose. You can do it for the nuke explosion, because it actually takes place underneath the boat, and once it's done, you can do it over and over again. So just hit the I button again, and you can zoom in, you can see the cat, you can see the big explosion. But you're fine and uh, you can just hit it again and you can hear the ticking and it makes sense because it takes place directly under where the bomb is and then suddenly the scenery appears you can zoom forwards you can see the fake city blocks you can see the scenery explosion use free cam and zoom into one of the limos and you can see the guys multiplying out of each other and climbing out the car and you can also while you're here other than looking around that area you can zoom in here and you can look around the driver's area Using free cam, seat your position and then detonate the bomb in say hello to your little friend, you can see the door fly through you. Turn on gold mode, detonate the bomb inside uh, the thing with free cam mode and you can see all the stuff explode around you and some of it vanish and all that cool stuff. Last one with gold mode on, detonate the bomb while standing on top of the car and you'll see it fly through you. Okay guys, thanks for watching.